Hi, welcome and welcome back. This is a fun project with some scrap glass and some frit and you can use any vase you like as long as it has a smooth surface. I decided to use a vase that looks like a fish bowl. Make sure you measure your bottom port so you know how much space you've got for your bottom pieces that you want to put down flat and also the height and then also the size of the opening that you have so you know you will be able to fit your pieces inside and then you will also size your pieces according to the size of your vase. I will put a link to the pattern for the fish and the stingrays that I made in the description below. And then I also use play sand because it's already washed. Make sure when you add the water at the end, do it very slow because the faster you pour it in, the more it will disrupt the sand at the bottom. And also the longer it will take for all the sand to settle, afterwards and to have a clear view. Mine took about two days before I had a clear view. Have fun with this! For coral, cut some strips of glass. I cut mine into very thin strips and of course you can use any colour you like. The fish are double layered and the two separate pieces on the pattern are for the bottom layer. Trace them off onto your clear glass and cut them out. When it comes to the top layer, you can play around with colour. You also don't necessarily have to make them the same as the pattern with the lines, as the pieces can become too small to cut or can be very hard to handle. I ended up skipping some of the lines on the pattern and made my pieces bigger. Then I assembled them with some super glue, making sure that the loose tail piece overlaps onto the bigger piece over the cutting line so that the pieces will fuse together. The stingray is also double layered. Trace the body of the stingray onto your clear gloss as well onto your coloured gloss and cut them out. The tail is single layer so it can pull in more to make a nice thin tail. Cut the tail as long as you wish yours to be. You can also paint ice onto your stingray with some gloss paint or you can put two pieces of black horse frit onto your gloss for ice. For some seaweed, I just drew some curved lines onto a piece of green glass and cut them out. Some of the pieces that I broke off after scoring the glass looked better than the ones that I drew onto my glass and I decided to use some of those. So have a look at your cut pieces and also broken off pieces and then choose the ones that you like best. In order for the fish to hang from the top of the vase, I decided to make a clear grid. Draw a circle onto paper with a diameter of at least 2 cm bigger than the diameter of the vase. Then draw another circle inside this circle around 1 cm to the inside. Then you can mark off your cutting lines. I marked mine in black and then drew a second cutting line in red as each piece has to be a bit longer in order for the pieces of glass to overlap at the edges so they can melt together and still create a circle in the size that I need. Then you can trace the pieces onto your clear glass from a black line to a red line. Then draw lines on the inside of your circle around 1 cm apart from each other. Trace every second one onto your glass and cut the pieces out. Remember that these pieces also have to be long enough to overlap the circle pieces. Do this twice as you will need both horizontal and vertical lines. Then also trace the outside of your circle onto a piece of thin kiln paper. This is so you have a reference as to how big your circle should be when you assemble assemble the glass onto your kiln shelf. Remember, it's better to end up with a bigger circle than a smaller circle. You don't want the piece to be smaller than the opening of your vase, as then it will just fall into the vase and not sit on top of it. Last but not least, I decided to make more coral with some medium frit. For your own reference, you can just draw some shapes that you like onto some thin kiln paper. This is also for your own reference as to how high or how wide you can go according to the vase that you'll be using. And then have everything ready to assemble onto your kiln shelf in your kiln. <music> 